kebabes. Okay. Hi. This is a black mamba. Quite a good size one. Dendroaspis polylepis. And this snake has the reputation of being one of the fastest, one of the most dangerous, one of the most unpredictable snakes in the world. And I consider myself very fortunate to be able to handle one of these. Now this one was captured close to the house of a resident in the area. It's a really beautiful specimen. But black mamas have this reputation that uh, is surrounded by a lot of mystique and uh, superstition and wrong beliefs and here you can see I'll try to get that if you can see come on there you are if you open the mouth there you can see it black inside the mouth and that is where the black mamba gets its name from it's not black as you can see this one is uh, is fairly typical of black mamba coloring uh, they can be in this area quite a, a sandy brown with mottled blotches all the way down the body and then further down south and in other areas they might be slate grey but they're definitely not black. It has this reputation that's surrounded by mystique and superstition and uh, largely wrong beliefs. There's beliefs where this snake can stand on its tail and bite you on the head. Uh, yes a black member can stand up and it can make a, a slight hood uh, like a cobra, which I will try depending on the situation I'll attempt to show you. But there are very few situations where a black mamba will actually attack a human being. Uh, one of them is if it's cornered. This snake will fight its way out. Or uh, where it lives in the antils, where people break the antils down to use the material as building material then yes uh, you are therefore breaking down black mamba's home and the home of many other living things and uh, if i come to your house with a sledgehammer and start breaking it down you're not going to be happy either uh, mating season they tend to be more aggressive there's pheromones everywhere males are looking for females and uh, they are quite aggressive but generally speaking it's difficult to get within a few meters of a black mamba because they are very alert and as snakes go they're quite intelligent so let me attempt to show you whether or not this snake will pose for us and please excuse me if I don't look too much at the camera okay stay there babes Okay. As you can see, it stands up slightly, it makes a slight hood. And uh, I don't want to mess with it too much, very soon I'm going to release it. But this is it, Africa's most feared snake. It's a nervous snake, it's quite feisty, and yes, if you mess with it too much, it will become very aggressive. But it's very majestic as well. And there he stands. This one is a rather large male, well fed, good condition. And is uh, behaving quite well. <laughs> But you can see now, this snake, it basically just wants to go, it wants to get away, it doesn't, doesn't want to be near humans. You see, snakes want two things only. They want food and they want shelter and they want to be left alone. So as long as we don't encroach on their territory, 
then they won't bother us too much. If they do find themselves in human habitation or within the, the confines of a community, it's purely by accident or they were in search of food and or shelter. Intelligent-looking snake. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, bud. There you go. It's quite heavy. Ah, aren't you amazing? Very well behaved. Much better behaved than I expected. Stand up for us. Now very shortly I'm going to release this snake. And uh, contrary to popular belief, it won't uh, it won't just come back and attack me, it will make straight for the bushes. It knows what it's looking at there. There's natural bush and it just wants to go home. Beautiful snake. Here you can see most of the top surface of the snake. Dendroaspis polylepis. Mbemba. Goshi in Kaunde Konkola. I'm going to let him go on his way now. <laughs> 